Hello, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Welcome to this session, this uh, post-January session for you. Yeah, I hope this is finding you guys well. So, just like with the fire and water signs and also with the air signs after you, we are going to look at the energies post-January 2023 for you. So, this, is, this does mean that this... This reading is a little more time sensitive than normal. Please keep that in mind. Although, even though it can resonate for you at any time, right? You could, you could watch this now, you could watch this later, and it could resonate for you now or then. But it still feels like generally what we're talking about here is situations or energies that are, <clears throat> that are post this one snapshot moment of our lives that spirit officially has call, wants me to call post January, but it also feels like it's very much also um, uh, post Mars retrograde, okay? But spirit still wants me to say post January 2023 because of the fact that Mars officially went direct in January of 2023 uh, around the, the, the from what I could see in my charts the last day that Mars stationed retrograde was the 13th of January which actually was a Friday <laughs> Friday the 13th and then from the 14th on it was officially direct moving in normal motion um, and then after that and this is why we're saying post January because once Mars went direct it took a little bit of time for the energies to start to ramp up but it feels like some things have solidified some things have changed a certain change that you were seemingly heading towards may really now be underway may be fully decided upon and you're on your way officially like there's no turning back now um, and that happened throughout the rest of january and now we're moving forward from here, this point so we're moving forward from this point but what we're looking at is a snapshot of the energies that you are moving away from at this time what ha where are we up until this point what have we gone through what are the cycles that may be closing changing shifting from then up until this point okay so earth signs um this is uh, reality is feeling pretty heavy for you right now um there are two songs that are standing out for you in this energy. The first one is Lily Allen. It's called The Fear. I don't know what's right and what's real anymore. And I don't know how I'm meant to feel anymore. When do you think it will all become clear? Cause I'm being taken over by the fear. That's the first energy that I'm feeling for you. And this feels heavily, heavily involved with Capricorn. I keep, I mean, just like when I did the fire sign reading, by the way, since this seems to be heavily connected to Mars retrograde for a lot of us, you might want to watch the fire sign reading, but also specifically the Aries reading because Mars does rule Aries and this the, the changes that are coming post this Mars last, uh, this most previous Mars retrograde really came through in the Aries reading. So if this resonates for you in this way, I highly recommend you check that out, okay? And last thing I want to say before I continue, we're going to break this down and we're going to look at it collectively, like the whole Earth sign collective, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn together, and then we're going to break it down. I highly, highly recommend that you watch the collective part of this if you don't watch it first. At least watch it after Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whatever, okay? Because... This is where we are deriving the messages for the individual signs from, what we talk about collectively in the beginning of this. Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> I forgot my list for the timestamps. Hold on. Okay, so as I was saying, just like with the fire sign reading, with how strongly Aries came through for the whole collective, Capricorn is coming through just as strong for the Earth signs. Now, it may very well be that this is a strong message for Capricorn, but also collectively speaking, what I feel like this Capricorn influence is, is has something to do with Saturn. 
Because within this energy of um, the fear, it literally, Earth signs, feels like reality is starting to crumble around you. Or at least what reality as you knew it, what you knew of reality, the social structures, the social constructs, the institutional structures. Um, generationally, this could be a thing for you. Um, I'm seeing Ten of Pentacles energy now. Um, it, it all seems to be falling apart. And um, the way you once viewed something, or maybe even the way you once related to something, uh, is no longer relevant. You no longer see it this way any you, you know anymore. You no longer f uh, connect with it in this way anymore. Um, it, it feels very strongly. What I'm hearing is, is, is spirit is directing me towards more institutional type of energies, um, and this very well could have a lot to do with how um, you know the current the, the, the current state of the economy, the current state of world affairs, uh, the current state of politics. If you're here in the United States, most of mostly all almost all not all most of my audience here of the collective here is from the united states but it's not just the united states that's going through this the the, the level of corruption that is being turned up i'm hearing turned about but i kind of i think that's translating into what's turning up what is becoming seen what is becoming known all the documents that are being released that are that are proving certain things uh uh, uh certain conspiracy theories correct because of the now documents that have come out and, and some and, and all and like go back to the song eric i don't know what's right and what's real anymore i don't know how i'm meant to feel anymore when do you think it will all become clear because i'm being taken over by the fear but you're realizing it so you're not being taken over by the fear officially anymore because you're starting to realize it. you're starting to for many of you, this feels like you are reluctantly starting to turn your gaze in a new direction, is what I want to say. And what this has to do with Capricorn and or Saturn is, as far as I know, in terms of it, true sidereal astrology, which, which is what I mainly uh, focus through when I do focus through astrology, um, that's, that's the practice that I focus through. In terms of that, Saturn, I believe... I haven't looked, I should have looked, but I didn't turn my system on. But um, Saturn, last I checked, is at the very end of Capricorn and is about to move into Aquarius. Um, and again, that is true sidereal astrology. I'm not, I don't remember where, uh, where Saturn is in uh, tropical or um, traditional astrology. Uh, but as far as for the energy that I've been picking up on, this kind of makes sense because with Saturn ending his, his time in his home sign of Capricorn, in which I, very strong structures, rules, um, I, I, but also the, 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 the flip side of that, the overuse of structure, the overuse of rules, the overuse of control, okay? Control, 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 right? A lot of that recently has been ramping up and is going to continue ramping up for a number of years Ahead of, t ahead of us um, while the energy that has already been building up plays out. But while that energy is playing out and while these structures of control and dominance and, you know, in, in all this and all that kind of stuff is ramping up, we're also seeing how corrupt those systems are. And what I'm feeling here for you, Earth Signs, is Again, what you once used to believe in no longer rings true any long for you somehow. What you used to have faith in certain institutions, let's say it's the healthcare system, when you were really an adamant advocate for the healthcare system and, blah, uh, and, and needing to have, we'll say, let's go so far as to say needing to have health insurance and making sure you have a good doctor and seeing the doctor all the time and listening to your doctor and listening to the, to the, to the, to listening to, to the science and, you know, all this stuff. And then... The pandemic plays out and two years later, over two years later, almost three now, we are starting to see there, there is more and more that's starting to come out that's starting to reveal how, wait, this is not what we ta thought it was. This is not what we were told it was. I'm feeling this energy for somebody here of someone who really feels betrayed because they stood their ground and they beat that drum of the righteous cause or whatever they were told or led to believe was right 
And now it's starting to come out the evidence of it, the undeniable truth I just heard, is starting to come out that that wasn't the truth at all. I have been misled. I have been lied to here. This, I feel like, is something that is being initiated with this energy of Saturn moving from Capricorn into Aquarius. Because as when, 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 Cap, when Saturn moves into Aquarius, that's when we get the flip side of the coin of Saturn. Whereas on, in the Capricorn side of Saturn, we're very rigid, we're very structured. But when we're in the flip side, when we're on in the Aquarius side of Saturn, because remember, Saturn rules both Capricorn and Aquarius. When we're in Aquarius, Saturn is like, oh no, if these rules and structures don't work, let's revolutionize them, let's change them, let's fix them up, let's make everything work for everybody, let's make everything fair, let's make everything balanced, let's make, let's make everything peaceful. And we're going to do that. It's a driving force when Saturn's in Aquarius towards greater change for the better good. Also, keep in mind that Aquarius is also ruled, officially now, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. But traditionally, and still, there are still associations with, between Saturn and Aquarius, okay? So, this is either affecting a Capricorn, or this is a big collective energy that Capricorn is affecting as a whole, if that makes sense. Then there's a second main, there's a second song that came through to this morning, actually. It's called Grapefruit. It's by Tove Lo. Um... Uh, in Swedish, it's Tuvelu, but her, but we know her as Tovlo. Uh, it's grapefruit. It's about um, body dysmorphia and uh, negative body image and struggling with weight um, and struggling with self-image and even body image. Well, body image and even self-image. Um, and I was thinking about it this morning because when these songs come to me like this, they, 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 they like take over my consciousness and they play in my head over and over and over again until I finally start to look into what the song is playing because I, re I recognize that, okay, wait, this is not how I'm actually feeling. So this song really has nothing to do with me. So why is this song playing in my head? And this is where it's leading me, okay? So the fear was first and now it's this grapefruit song and this body dysmorphia situation. And I was thinking about it this morning and I was like, wait a second. Didn't I do a reading for an earth sign recently? I thought it was Capricorn at first, but I looked and I searched and yes, it was September of last of this past year of 2022. It is a true sidereal session because I do work with the true sidereal chart, um, but in that session, but it was actually for Taurus. And so I'm like, okay, all right. So this energy is coming back up here. Um, but I do also feel like it's connected to the greater, like the fear message. I, I highly recommend that you guys listen to those songs, pay attention to the words. Sp mainly it's the fear by Lily Allen. I really want you guys to pay attention to those words. If it is res if this energy is resonating for you, if this change in your atmosphere is re resonating for you in this way. Okay. If you're changing reality, how you see things, what the truth and all that stuff. <laughs> and that song also, you know, it talks about greed and it talks about vapidism and um, uh, uh, what is it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Vanity and all that kind of stuff, too. And just just take it as it resonates. Well, let's get into the cards here. 13 minutes in. Okay. Earth signs. We're going to start with, this is still the collective part of the session, all right? We're going to start with um, the uh, Moonology deck. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Last shuffle. Capricorn, you're still right up front, but we're, this is all, all three. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, here we go. What's going on here? Post-February 2023, January, excuse me, post-January 2023. <laughs> okay, first card we have. Okay, oh boy. You know what is so interesting about this, you guys? So, two of you showed up. Taurus, Virgo, you are here. And it's not Capricorn that's here. I took three cards. It's not Capricorn that's here. It's Aquarius. Hold on, I gotta adjust the 
Okay, it's Aquarius. Look, the first card that came out is New Moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. This is exactly it. This is exactly what I feel like this transition represents. Going from this really structured life that was overly structured, overly um, controlling. Well, that it's not even like we're out of it yet. We're still in it and things are ramping up, are kind of only getting worse, but they're getting worse to get better. Okay. Um, but we are realizing, we're starting to see how something about this ain't right, at the very least, right? And so as, like I was saying, as we have Capricorn moving from, I'm sorry, Saturn moving from Capricorn to Aquarius soon, if it hasn't happened already, I don't, I don't actually, maybe it already has happened, I don't remember. Um, again, I didn't look. But it's about bringing love into the situation. I love that. So this is why Aquarius is here. Now also, the other thing about this is, all three of these cards are new moons. Okay, so you have the new moon in Aquarius. Bring love to the situation. New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. And new moon in Virgo. A time to give rather than to take. And, and that is really also a strong level of what Aquarius is about. Right? The Aquarius is the water bearer. The water bearer. Look, she is pouring water out. It's, it, the water represents... Um, basically uh, uh, nurturance, right? It's a very giving energy. It's about, it's about giving to the, to, collect, to the collective. It's about the collective. It's about uh, 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 revolutionizing or, or, or uh, technolize, technologically advancing things for the greater good of society, for the greater good of all, for the greater, good of, uh, greater advancement of society at all, right? So prosperity does lie ahead, but it's a time to give rather than to take. So we're moving out of this strong Capricorn energy that's been very, well, consumerism. That's also the, what uh, The Fear by Lily Allen talks about, consumerism. The extreme consumerism. Take, 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 more, more, more. I want more, I want more, I want more. For myself. I'm going to keep it. You can't do that anymore. Okay. It's funny, guys. This feels more like a big old collective reading. Well, this is the collective part of the reading, but I don't know. It's, it feels like this has... This, is a, this might be part of a, a kind of a message that everybody can benefit from, but it's coming through in the earth signs. Okay. Um, okay. So let's get into this then. Are we going to break it down? We are going to break it down. All right. Hold on. All right. We're going to start with Taurus. Hey there, Taurus. Okay. We're going to get into this energy for you. Now, Taurus, you were the one that previously I did the reading on body dysmorphia and whatnot, whatever. And that energy was coming up again, or negative self-image, negative body image. And Taurus, what it feels like is happening here for you in terms of this, and in terms of this collective energy that we have here, It feels like you are starting to recognize the elements of your external reality that only help to make you feel this negativity inside, is what I want to say. And for you, this is how this institutionalized energy seems to be crumbling around you. At the very least, I, I want to say that the very systems that you subscribed to, I want to say that you believed in the goals, the ideals that you had. You, 
you're getting to a point where you're starting to realize how unhealthy they have been for you, how they may have been the driving and or leading force here in your negative self-image, we'll say. And so for you with this prosperity lies ahead, this is where that prosperity lies. And even though th this is a sense, there's a sense of something crumbling down for you, it's like the walls are coming down. And as this is coming down, which it may be painful, it may be shameful, you may have a lot of resentment for yourself, for the situation, for the others, whatever. Even though that may be there, off in the distance, there's a bright light. There's freedom, there's peace, there's release from all of this. So this is kind of like a bittersweet energy for you right now, Taurus. Three shuffles here. Three into your tarot. Post-January 2023 for my Taurans. I mean, this... I'm just going to go with it in this way. Take it as it resonates, guys. Last shuffle. I don't, I don't know if it... Just take it as it resonates. <laughs> Okay, this is a general reading, remember. Okay, Taurus, what's going on here? Queen of Wands, yes. This is, this is belief in yourself. This is finding belief in yourself. I'm feeling like the fire is starting to rev up within you. It's starting to build, it's starting to grow. You're starting to gain confidence. You're starting to gain belief. You're starting to gain trust in yourself. You're starting even to gain, may, you may even be gaining trust in your intuition. It may be your intuition that finally led you to the opportunities for you to see what these circumstances, situationships really truly are for themselves. And that is helping you change your direction, change your vibration, change your alignment. I, I, I'm feeling very strongly with this Queen of Wands energy here, Tor Taurus, that there is a strong sense of self-belief and confidence and faith and love and happiness and excitement for yourself that is starting to build within you. I'm hearing you're starting to find yourself attractive again or even at all, maybe for the first time. What's going on for Taurus? The Wheel of Fortune is next. And that feels very much, I'm gonna stop here. That feels very much like uh, very much connected to this prosperity lies ahead. So the next card you have is the Wheel of Fortune with this Queen of Wands here, Taurus. And immediately this Wheel of Fortune feels like the prosperity lies ahead because what I'm feeling here is as you are building this faith, this confidence, this self-belief, Queen of Wands, and also this is a queen, so it's a feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be a woman. This could also be a man that's going through this as well, okay? It's not about the feminine um, orientation. It's more about the energy that she represents, okay? So take that as it resonates. But um, the Wheel of Fortune here, it, as you are building this Queen of Wands energy, this self-belief, faith, even sexiness of self, right? As you're building that, it's changing your situation. It's changing your reality. It's changing how the wheel turns and where it stops for you. It's changing your luck is what I want to say. But also, um, luck is not... I don't... I, I, I mentioned this in a collective reading that I did not too long ago, um, in which I was talking about, it, it's, it's titled, You're in a Seven Vibration, um, but it's more than just luck in that reading uh, that session I was talking about how luck is really just when preparedness meets opportunity. Luck is not really, there's no really, I don't really believe there is anything such as luck. It's about you preparing for the opportunity to succeed in the future, right? And that's what's happening here for you. I'm feeling that in this Queen of Wands energy. There's something about getting prepared or revving up, getting started, uh, feeling better, feeling good, uh, building, uh, building confidence, building self-belief that is preparing you for new and better things to come within this th Wheel of Fortune here, okay? But then the last card you have here, Taurus, is the Two of Wands. So it seems that there is a choice that you need to make here. Now, this choice, Taurus, could very much be you choosing where your allegiance or alliances are. Who are you going to give your allegiance to? You're going to give your allegiance to these institutions or these community groups or these uh, belief systems, uh, whatever. You're going to give your allegiance to those things that are only helping you to feel worse or at least keeping you down. Or are you going to give your allegiance to yourself and continue to build this fire? 
and have faith in yourself. And, 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 and listen, don't think that you're just going to build this fire and it's just going to be there and you're not going to do anything with it. No. There are, you, 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 giving your allegiance to yourself in this way, Taurus, it means not only building that fire, but then taking action from the fire that has been developed or and or crafted. It's really what I want to say. But that would be the king of wands. We're not there yet. We're still building this fire. It's smoldering. We're stoking it. We're building that faith, that belief, that confidence. But you have a choice to make. And the biggest, and yes, for some of you, there is a, something actually you need to decide. Do, do I, uh, uh, um, uh, which way to go? Do I take this action? Do I, do, do I take this action? Do I do it this way? Do I do it that way? Yes, there is some of that energy here. But really, the big question here, the big choice is who are you giving your allegiances to? I hope I'm saying that grammatically correct. Okay, Taurus. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. And this feels like the answer to your question. Is it balanced? Equal give and take? Is it reciprocal? Then okay, yeah, sure. We can, leave our, we can give our alliance to that. We could, we could be in alliance with that. But if the answer is no, no. The alliance goes here. Stay true to yourself. Right? Above all. Above all things, Taurus, stay true to yourself. And that's really where I feel like this structural energy is breaking down. Because instead of being true to yourself in the past, you were true to whom, whomever you were shaped, molded into, we'll say. For lack of a better word or term. But now, that those walls that kept you structured in a certain way are breaking down and now your energy can run free can be free and you can well you always could but now you have you're giving yourself i'm hearing the opportunity to live your life to be true to yourself now i want to pull one more card for this two of wands here what's this two of wands for taurus sideways the Two of Swords is crossing the two. What? The King of Swords. Would you look at that? There's Aquarius again. Okay. Yep. 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 It's exactly what I thought. Excellent, Taurus. So, talking more about this Two of Wands energy for you. First card that came out is the Two of Swords, and it came out crossed. It's crossing the Two of Wands. I'm sorry, Two of Wands. So, there is something here. There is a mindset. There is a mental blockage. Has been, excuse me. A mental blockage that has been keeping you from choosing, making this decision, and or choosing in this way. Okay. But with that, now, and, and the, I, I specifically say they, there has been, because what I'm feeling here, Taurus, is you were previously unaware of this, or at least you didn't see it this way. But now, you're starting to see this blockage. You're starting to perceive of it. I'm sorry, I just heard. The King of Swords. And you're starting to perceive of how it has been hurting or harming you. Three of Swords. To the Ace of Swords. You're starting to get it. You're starting to see it clearly for what it is, objectively, King of Swords. Overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. And thus, here comes self-sufficiency and sovereignty. Choosing for yourself. The fear is playing in my head again. When do you think it will all become clear? Cause I'm being taken over by the fear. Not anymore. <laughs> the realization is key here, guys. It, quite frankly, 
if you're being coming, if you're aware of something that is happening that you don't necessarily like, that is not cause for alarm. It's actually cause for celebration because you're aware of it now. And now you can do something about it. You're seeing it. So that's why even while this song was playing in my head, I could have, you know, before I understood where the, the message was or where it was coming from, I could have kind of panicked and be like, oh my God, I don't want this playing in my head. I don't want to get taken over by the fear. No, no, this is bad. But I was like, instead, I was like, whoa, wait a second. Something is happening here. What does this mean? Why is this showing up? There it is. Cool, Taurus. I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. Mm. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Okay. Virgo is next. Mm. Wow. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. You know, you... You've been kind of silent through all this. I wonder where Virgo is. Where's she gone? Hmm? I'm seeing a hermit situation for you. So for some of you, your energy is quite clear and that's why I'm not really picking up on anything. I've, I'm hearing and I'm feeling that you're in a peaceful place. This is very good. I'm picking up on nursing and I always, every time I, ch I tap into Virgo energy, I pick up on um, nursing. Some of you are preparing to get a nursing job or degree. Some of you are in that nurse or maid type of energy, wanting to, uh, wanting to help. I'm hearing healthcare, home provider. Okay. Last shuffle for you, Virgo. Um, in, in some cases, this is just the energy that you're in. Why am I hearing the phrase nursemaid? I don't know. You're, you're wanting to... You're wanting to give help. You're wanting to be of service somehow, Virgo. And I feel like you're in a time period of, of questioning what is real for yourself, okay? But also how you could help heal others because like, I feel like you might be one of some of the individuals that are seeing how others are, uh, maybe already are aware of how bad things have gotten and how things are changing and how things are needing to change. But I feel like Virgo, you are focused in terms of how do I help fix this for other people or how do I help the other people around me? I don't feel like you're panicked. I feel like you're pretty calm. Your, your energy, your space just feels very clear. Calm, cool, and collected. Seven of Pentacles is the very first card out for you. This makes sense because in this, in this card, this person is just kind of standing there observing. And I feel like that's where you are. Watching things play out, seeing how things develop. In the background, you may be in your mind, I'm picking up on Gemini energy now too, um, third house energy. But in the back of your mind, I'm feeling like you're trying to figure it out. You're, you're, you're working all the calculations, you're, 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 you're reading the analytics and, and kind of trying to project pr the, into the future and see, predict and see how, if you can understand how things are potentially going to play out and trying to calculate how you can fix, heal, work through whatever with this seven of pentacles here. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Two of Pentacles is next. Working it out. Keeping balance. Ooh. Ooh. Last card is death. And it has come out reversed. And then the deck did something weird and a card came out and shit went <laughs> and shit no and shifted to the bottom of the deck as your overall energy and that is the eight of wands now death is reversed because the change is underway yep 
And that's why you're here in the Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles energy, just trying to keep things balanced, observing, watching how things are working out. I feel like in some cases you are very well aware that you, that you can't really do anything about it in this moment or in this instance, but you know it's coming. You're prepared for it and you're preparing for it. Okay, the change is underway. The cycle has started to end itself is what I'm hearing. Eight of Wands. Underneath, as your overall energy, underneath the Eight of Wands is the Ace of Pentacles. Aha! Then there's the Four of Pentacles, the Moon, and wouldn't you know it, the Eight of Cups. <laughs> so what is this? Okay. Whoa. All right. Sorry. Here. Um, it was the Eight of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles to the Moon. Okay. So the Four of Pentacles to the Moon. And the moon almost doesn't even want to show itself because what this is here, Virgo, is the, rep, the, the realization of the structure or something that has been held on to, something that someone was holding on to, something that you were holding on to, a belief system, a person, a relationship, a job, a circumstance, a physical object, I don't know. But this feels more than just physical objects. This feels much bigger than that. Okay, maybe, maybe emotionally, but the illusion behind this, becoming aware of the illusion and thus ultimately walking away from the situation. Okay, this is the change that is in process that you are aware of, or maybe you're becoming aware of. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this goes deeper. You got, I mean, like... See, I just, I'm, I, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This feels like your energy here. This feels, as the Queen of Pentacles, this feels like you, Virgo, being a provider, being a caregiver, a home mother, a home giver, like a home caregiver or a mother or, or something, or being a nurturer, a provider, standing, but, but doing it kind of like from the background I'm feeling or something like that. Okay, the, that's the Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady progress. We're going to keep going. We just got to keep going. Keep moving. And we're going to take it step by step. And we're going to do it right. We're not going to let any slip, anything slip. No backseas, okay? We're not turning back around and fixing it. We're doing it right. We're doing it. And then we're moving on. We're doing it right. We're getting it done completely. And then we're moving on to the next task. And we're doing, I mean, we're, Right? Because there's some things are changing. Why? Enlightenment. We see now where the damage lies. The hanged man, the ace of swords, the ten of swords. And through this death and destruction comes grand, brand, brand new growth and new birth. The empress to the ten of pentacles to the four of wands to the king of swords. There's the King of Swords for you, uh, Virgo. Okay. I'm going to leave it there, but yeah, keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. You got it. You know what's up. You know what time it is, Virgo. <laughs> cool. I love you. Okay. Next is Capricorn. And I need a moment for that. I just, I, I just feel like I need, I need a moment. I gotta let these energies collect here. Ooh, loud it. It's probably not even as bad as I think. I may just be being super dramatic, but you know what? I'm going to let my Leo self be my Leo self. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sometimes I forget that I'm not doing this live with you guys and it's funny. Uh, okay, here we go. <sighs> Hello, Capricorn. How you doing? Oh, I forgot to say it this time, but... Again, if you didn't watch the collective reading, if you've just... Uh, fast forward it straight to the timestamp. I highly, highly recommend. It is quite necessary, really, because this is where we're drawing the messages from. 
this collective reading that's at the very beginning of the session, okay? All right, last shuffle for you, Capricorn. We've al I've already talked so much about your energy and your influence here that I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I just want to pull cards. So let's do that. Capricorn. First card you have is the Knight of Cups. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. The Ten of Wands. Overburdened. Carrying too much, doing too much, too much control, too much structure, too many, too many wheels turning, too many plates to juggle, too many things to be worried about, too many rules, regulations, laws, too many guidance points to... The sun, Capricorn. Overall energy is the, yeah, wow, the page of wands. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm so struck by this page of wands because this is transformation. This is self-transformation. This is changing your alignment, changing the way you see things, maybe changing the way you express yourself towards something, a situation, changing your alignment towards it, changing your affiliation with it. I'm hearing there's also a level of seeing the bigger picture here. Okay, and I was guided to look at the bottom of the Moonology deck, which I don't remember if I did it for the other readings, but in this instance, in this moment, I was guided to look at it. And it's, as I was saying, starting to, you're starting to see the bigger picture here. You may be starting to see the picture, bigger picture here. This card is new, another new moon. Holy shit, new moon, <laughs> new moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. And, uh, and Pisces is a very uh, influential energy here. Pisces is um, the opposite of Virgo. Okay, and Pisces is very much a collective energy, a compassionate energy, a feeling energy. I want to look more. I want to look more at the sun for you, Capricorn. What is this realization here? Ooh. Oh, oh, shit. Here's your brother Aquarius again. Reversed. The star reversed. The, realiz real blah, 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 blah. the realization is that something is in misalignment collectively. I'm hearing there is misguidance here. Something is wrong for the collective. Something is wrong for the greater good. Something is not an alignment with the greater good of all. And that's where this desire, this need to bring love into the equation. New moon in Aquarius. Knight of Cups. Anything else for the sun? The Magician. Yes, the Magician. Oh no, we about to change this, says Aquarius. With the magician. <laughs> to the ace of wands. You better work. There's your inspiration. There's your guiding light too. There's your, ah, I'm hearing wand of truth. Interesting. Now at its very core Capricorn, the ace of wands is just the inspiration, the impetus, the fire to let go. Feeling inspired. And it feels like feeling inspired to change something. We're going to dive even deeper still. Uh, the magician here with the star. Do you think? Okay. Yep. The wheel of fortune. And ha! The emperor. Oh, the Capricorn, this is all major arcana right here. All just describing the bigger umbrella of the sun. The sun, the star, the magician, the wheel of fortune, and the emperor. Now, the wheel of fortune is just like with the other earth signs, Taurus and 
Did it come out? I don't think it came out for Vertigo, but it did come out for Taurus. And it, feel, and it feels like the same thing for you. The change is coming. The wheels are turning differently now. And the Emperor is a central controlling force. But what this feels like here, this, this Emperor energy, this controlling force of the Emperor energy feels tempered by the loving and balancing healing energy of Aquarius. So he's not, he's not the type of emperor. He's not the emperor in reverse. He's not my way or the highway, which is very Capricorn sometimes. Or at least, yeah, can be very Capricorn. This, he's the type of emperor that's like, no, we're doing it this way because this benefits all of us. But the real question here, Capricorn, is what is that benefit? And what benefits are we striving for? How do we want to create a structure for the community? Because ultimately, we are living in a structured reality. It's physical, right? So there has to be some sort of structure. But what is that structure? What is that structure that really benefits the greater good? That's the question here. That's where bringing the love into the situation comes. Last card. Z on the top of the deck. Shit. It's the Ace of Wands again. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, the Nine of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Um, perseverance is what I'm hearing through the Nine of Wands, but also through that perseverance is starting to rec you're starting to recognize the struggle. Oh, damn, Nine of Wands to the Ten of Swords. <laughs> okay, and the, the last cards that I picked up from the top of the deck here, are there are three of them. It's the Ace of Wands again. But now with the Three of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Capricorn, we're not even debating. It's a yes or no question. The facts are the facts. Ooh. There's no denying this here. That's what I'm hearing. So the Ace of Wands, yes, is that energy of desiring to move forward, wanting to move forward. The Three of Wands is looking at the horizon. What do I have coming in? What have I been working towards? What am I working towards? How do I reach the ships that I desire to come in? Because uh, when I first started reading, I um, would describe, and I, I believe I got this from Betsy of um, now uh, Love and Science channel, but uh, uh, previously Fearless Intuition. But um, I got this, yeah, so with the Three of Wands here, you're waiting for your ships to come in, but in some cases, in some circumstances, in old days, well, no, in some circumstances, well, I'm, I'm sorry, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Your ships come in, but then you have to figure out how to get from the shore to your ship, right? Because it's not like, you know, you've got to build a dock. Or you got to get a boat and, and row on out there, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? How do I get what it is is coming to me. What is coming to me? What work am I doing to bring what's coming to me? Is it what I want? It's a yes or no question. Simple as that. Okay. That's it. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you want a private personal reading. All of the information is in the description box below. If you'd like a personal reading, all of the information is in the description box below. Yes, there is more of a description box. You have to, it's hard to see, especially if you're on a phone. It's hard to see. Um, but there is, if you look in the description box where it starts to say, you know, describe stuff. <laughs> on the bottom right in that little box is like see more or something, tap that and it expands and all down there is the information. I love you guys. Bye. Oh, Patreon. Yeah. Bye.